so today is Saturday and we have a special guest. Our friend from college, Danny, is visiting <laughs> us. Danny, how are you? I'm great. I'm admiring your skyline. <laughs> we are so happy to have you here today. This is weird for me, like vlogging like this, because I don't I don't put people on a spot like that, so I'm sorry, but okay. I, have I have to have the memories of it. I gotta have the memories of it. Alright, so we're on our way to to get some boba tea. We're gonna get boba tea at the food hall, but Danny implied that the rule is you can only get boba tea at a place that only sells tea. Can't get it at a food hall, so we're walking in this like 40 degree weather, and I'm not even dressed, but hey, when you're in New York, this is what you do. thinking about doing a new format to my YouTube videos. So I've been thinking about making my videos shorter because if I make my videos six to eight minutes opposed to 10 minutes plus, I can upload, in my opinion, higher quality videos at a more consistent clip. I've been trying to upload YouTube videos consistently the past year. And I feel like I haven't been successful with it at all. One of the reasons why is because I just really need to get my life together. The other reason is I started a new role and I can't necessarily say this job is more demanding, but it's like ebbs and flows. Like last week was crazy. There was no way I could post a video. Whereas when I was a software engineer, my weeks were pretty steady and pretty consistent. Just like some life updates. I've been feeling extremely blessed. The past month or so, I've been working with my dream brands. I've been working with Uniqlo, Amazon, and I recently just did a campaign with Sonos. Some of you all are probably like, what are you talking about? I haven't seen any of those videos. That's because they're on Instagram and TikTok. So be sure to check out some of those campaigns I posted the past month. But I'm just so grateful, like all thanks to God. And I'm so grateful and thankful for you all because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your support. So when it comes to getting my life together, one thing that I could do is read more consistently. I find that when I read more consistently, I feel like there's less clutter in my brain. I get a chance to kind of step away from the world and read a book that is only gonna help me be more creative, be more thoughtful in my approach to life. Also, less time comparing myself to other people on social media. A couple books that have been instrumental in my life the past year or so are Atomic Habits, Show Your Work, and The Defining Decade. Also picked up this book this weekend called What Can a Body Do and How We Built the World by Sarah Hindren. And this is a design book. I've been a designer and developer for most of my career. And one thing I've noticed is I feel like I have natural ability to design nice websites, create cool logos and etc. But I never actually got into the nitty gritty of what design is and how it's incorporated in our life. Cooking at home more often and eating less takeout food. I live really close to this incredible food hall here in Brooklyn and it's so tempting to go to the food hall and have like 40 different options of cuisine. But it's much better that I cook from home. One, I know what's in my food. Two, the food is gonna be more healthy. Three, when I cook, I for sure have to make sure the kitchen's clean. So it allows us to be more clean and organized with a less cluttered space. And also it's much easier to hit my macros when I cook at home. So 
Do I miss coding full time? Well, the answer is yes and no. It might be straightforward depending on how you take what I'm about to say. I definitely do miss being on the product side. As a developer evangelist, I spend most of my time helping people figure out SDKs, APIs, and libraries to use for them to build whatever product that they're trying to build. I miss solving technical problems more frequently. I honestly feel like I'm not being as creative professionally as I like. I have noticed though with this new job that I have to be way more organized than when I was a developer. And one of the reasons is because I have to, one, be more communicative. So when I go into meetings, I actually have to have a agenda doc where I go through what I wanna talk about or take down notes for the meeting. I also have to be more accountable for other teams, customers that rely on me, and I definitely have to flex project management skill sets. So I'm working cross-functionally a lot, organizing events with other teams and our customers, and ultimately making people do things that don't report to me, which is really difficult. So I'm reading this book, The Defining Decade. In one of the chapters, it talks about that when you're in your 20s, you can feel like you're in the ocean and you have all these opportunities and you don't know which way to go. And if you go the wrong way, especially for too long of a time, you hope that someone reels you in and takes you the right way. Ultimately, if you're in your 20s, you have infinite amount of opportunities and that can be quite overwhelming. But the reality is that's not actually true. You do have a lot of opportunities, but in order to maximize your amount of opportunities, you have to build identity capital you have to build work experience. So you could say I'm doing that with this new job. Not that being a software engineer didn't build identity capital, but if I ever want to pursue a different career path, the only way that I'm gonna be able to do that is by gaining experience in a role that allows me to gain skill sets that I wouldn't be able to gain as a software engineer. And what I notice as a software engineer especially earlier in your career, it can be kind of difficult to take on other roles and responsibilities. I definitely don't regret the role that I'm in right now. I'm so glad I made this career choice. I'm gaining so much invaluable experience that I didn't gain at all my last four or five years as a software engineer. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this. Comment down below some of your goals for 2023. I love interacting with you on a comment section. And as always, have a blessed rest of your week. I'll see you all soon. Peace.